Yo, yeah, what's up, guys? We got some freaking crazy news. Dragon Quest 10 and 11 has been announced for the PS4, and they are considering to release it on the Nintendo NX console. Also, guys, as you can see right there in the in the freaking video, that is Dragon Quest 11 in all its glory. PS4 HD, guys. Let's see how this is. Um, I haven't seen this video yet, so this is gonna be like my first reaction here. But the graphics are looking nice. Akira Toriyama at his finest, guys. If you don't know who Akira Toriyama is, he is the freaking creator of Dragon Ball Z, and he does the artwork for Dragon Quest. As you can see, it looks kind of like freaking. That looks a little bit just like Trunks, but with freaking brown hair. As you can see, he takes a lot from his Dragon Ball work and brings it over to Dragon Quest. All right, so. Let's talk about this. Um, basically, um, Dragon Quest um, 10 is an MMORPG, and Dragon Quest 11 is going to be just like your traditional JRPG. So, I mean, that is freaking crazy. Um, also, when I heard they're considering it for the NX, I'm like, wow, this must mean that the NX is going to be quite powerful, and that it might be able to run the, um, the current Unreal Engine. So hopefully, you know, crossing my fingers, that's true, because that would be great for all the Nintendo people out there. So as we're seeing, we're just walking through a freaking town now. The graphics look so freaking beautiful. I am so amazed at this, guys. Wow. <laughs> I just love the anime art style. It looks so vibrant, so amazing, man. Oh my gosh, just let's give thanks to Akira Toriyama, because I know oh, without him, we wouldn't have the art style that we have right now for Dragon Quest Hero. So that's why I like to thank him a lot, because... It's just, it's so good. I love it. And look, he actually, he actually freaking has a sword. I think he just modeled this character after Trunks. It's freaking hilarious. All right, so this is like inside of a store or an inn right now. They're showing you the pretty freaking vibrant colors, man. This is looking really nice, guys. Alrighty. Man, they put so much detail into this. I cannot wait. I, I want to know when this game comes out, first of all. Oh, my lord. Alright. This is looking so nice, so freaking nice. Alright, so we're just walking around again through the city. Hopefully they take us to different parts, man, because I, you know, I want to see some, probably some battles going on, and so they're showing us jumping, everything looks fluid, the jumping animation looks really fluid, and everything looks nice, so I mean, that's a good thing. At least it's not, you know, all blocky, like, I hate games that, you know, have weird jumping animation, really blocky, doesn't feel like it's all freestyle or anything like that. Alrighty, oh my gosh, man, this game is looking so beautiful, I am so hyped for this game, I love Dragon Quest, man, oh my gosh. Wow, man, I almost screamed, I screamed, well, I did scream like a fucking girl when I woke up, and they're like, oh, I'm into a freaking gaming website, and I see all these Dragon Quest news, I'm like, oh my god, what the hell's going on? And then, you know, Dragon Quest had a freaking live stream, and I did not know that. I should have tuned in for then. I would have had this news to you guys sooner. I'm sorry, guys, man. I'm really sorry. But, wow, this is looking really nice, man. Again, they're just showing off the environment and the, basically the engine they're working with um, in the game. But, damn, man, it's looking so nice. Wow. So what are you guys looking forward to? What are your hopes for this game? I know there's going to be character creation. That's an obvious must that's going to be in this game. But what are your hopes for this game? I mean, are you looking forward? Um, I heard that it's not going to be random encounters no more. You're actually going to be just... I Monsters are going to be out in the freaking grass fields. You're going to be able to fight them. So that's one good thing. I don't like random encounters. Ha 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 me. But no, I don't not like random encounters. So I'm glad that that, that part is off of the game right now. So I mean... Right now, they're just basically talking and explaining the game. Sadly, I don't know Japanese, and sadly, there was no translation to see what they're saying right now. But, you know, as a jest of, you know, what I was hearing when I was watching the video, they're just, you know, talking about the game and what you can do and about the art style at the moment. And since the camera's moving around, you know, a lot around the freaking, um, the city here. So I don't know what the story is going to be based on or anything like that, but hopefully something amazing, hopefully something that, you know, get us sucked into the freaking Dragon Quest world, because there's always an amazing story in a Dragon Quest game, it's no doubt about it. So, I mean, I'm really surprised that um, the NX actually got, you know, considered for these two freaking games here. That would be a big jump for Nintendo's next console when it launches to have two freaking Dragon Quest games on it. That will give it a really big bump, and hopefully the other third parties, um... Developers will see this, will see Dragon Quest game and see how well it does on a Nintendo console and hopefully they'll start, you know, getting more third party support because with the Wii U it was just a downhill downhill spiral for third party support. I mean, EA bailed out on us and a lot of um, Ubisoft was with us for a while and then they bailed out. I mean, we got 
freaking bum fucked basically sorry for my language but it's true we did all right so now we're upper we're in the upper area right now walking across freaking um uh planks of wood and like little bridges this is looking really nice i'm liking the art style like i said i'm always gonna be talking about the art style because i love dragon ball z and i love freaking dragon quest and the two are basically not the same but they're made um the art style is made by the same freaking people it's just amazing all right, so he's just walking across the planks, like I said. Oh, I know a part, there's a part in the video where the audio cuts off, and I don't know why the audio cut off, but I put some music there so you guys can enjoy the freaking Dragon Quest theme while watching this freaking video. But right now, there's, you know, there's audio, so you can just hear the audio and some of the gameplay sounds. Is he going to try to attempt to walk across that rope? Oh, that does not look good. <laughs> All right, let's see what he does. Oh, Lord. And he's walking across the rope, just like a boss. Look at him go. <laughs> Slowly but surely. And he made it across. Yay, let's clap for him. That sounded like fapping. <laughs> I should be fapping to this game right now, because it's so beautiful. But obviously, I'll be probably getting this game for the freaking PS4, but I need to support the NX console, because I am a Nintendo fanboy at heart. I know I said I have no fanboyism, but Nintendo will always have a special place in my heart just because I grew up with them. That's the only reason why, but I'll be probably getting this game for both systems because, I mean, I want to support third parties on the NX. If this game actually comes to the um, Nintendo NX, who knows what, if it's going to come there, but it's definitely been confirmed for the PS4, so if it doesn't see a release on the NX, I'll be nabbing this baby on the PS4 because the PS4 has is a JRPG king, king right now. It has so many... Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. Now we're in a different place. We're in a forest right now. If lush, oh my god, the graphics are looking really nice right now. Holy shit. This is looking really beautiful. Wow. I'm really wanting this game right now, guys. I need this game in my life right now. I'm telling you. I really need this game in my life. <laughs> I love me some JRPGs. I love RPGs, so just give me any RPG you guys got. I'm, um, I, I want a actual, I want a Fable RPG on the freaking Xbox One. That's one of my favorite RPGs also, but, and they're making Fable Legends. I don't know if I'm going to dabble into that game at all, but, oh my gosh, this game is looking luscious and so beautiful right now, man. I'm just licking my lips, because, woo, this is looking great. And this is where the audio sadly cuts off, so we're going to have the freaking Dragon Quest theme playing in the background just to give you guys some little freaking nostalgia and freaking hype to this game also <laughs> all right so man this the grass looks nice the um the waterfall in the background looks beautiful the trees in detail and it, it looks really nice man and let's see hopefully they get into combat i want to see some combat here or something like that something close to it hopefully so if we get some combat that'll be really amazing all right Oh, are those slimes? We got the iconic slimes, guys. Like I always says in my Dragon Quest Builders video, we have the iconic slimes here. <laughs> Alright, so he's going to a different place now. He picked a different route from the other route that we've seen. Holy crap, okay. Oh my gosh. All these freaking characters from the old game that we're seeing right now. Damn, but this game is looking so beautiful, guys. Let me know. I know you guys would want me to do a Let's Play of freaking Dragon Quest freaking um, 11. I know that for a fact. So <laughs> let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a freaking Let's Play of this game when it comes out. Because I'm going to nab this baby and we will do a Let's Play on it. Because this is the kind of RPG that I love. I mean, whoo. It's, they're just giving us an overview of how the, the world looks like right now in this specific area. Which looks freaking beautiful for a freaking um, anime, anime style of the game. It looks so great. My gosh, so we're seeing a push of JRPGs on the PS4. Hopefully this means that we're going to get them coming. Keep it, keep the freaking JRPGs coming because we love them. We don't want them to go, guys. We love them. All right, so hopefully he gets into combat. I want to see combat in here. I want to see how nice and fluid it is. So hopefully, what the hell? <laughs> oh my gosh, the little placeholders in it. They look hilarious. All right, so hopefully combat pretty soon. The video's almost ending. I want to see some combat, hopefully. Alright, so we're crossing a bridge. Wow. Guys, you need to agree with me that this game is looking so freaking beautiful right now. Wow. <laughs> I would have never expected this for a Dragon Quest game at all. Oh my lord. Oh my gosh. I don't know if they're going to show combat to us, guys. 
Wow. That's what I was really aiming to see in this game. I wanted to see, you know, some some combat, but I don't know if they're going to show us at all. Come on, show us some combat, please. All right. Looks like he's just turning around. Hopefully he heads back pretty soon. He's heading back, guys. Are we going to see some combat, hopefully? All right. He's heading back. Sorry, I got so quiet there because I'm like anticipating the moment. Okay, okay. Time is running out so far. Oh my gosh, he's getting close to a monster. He's getting close. Come on. Just give it one swing. I don't even care if it's if it's one swing. Oh, it looks like they're not going to give him a swing at all. I was looking so forward to seeing that too. <laughs> the guy that's playing with the controller is not even playing it no more. So guys, tell me what you think about this game, and tell me if you guys were interested in me doing a let's play of it, guys. Take it easy, Metroid is out of here.